Hey guys, it's Zachary from How I Zone, and today we'll be talking about this. This is the Epson Epic Vision Mini Smart Lifestyle Home Projector. And I'm quite excited about this because if you remember about a year ago, I did a video where I said smart projectors these days could possibly replace the TV at a modern home. Well, at that time, Epson didn't really have something as portable as this, so traditional projectors were still a pain to move around if you wanted to get it to another room. But this fits the bill. Now, the Epic Vision Mini comes in two models. The one I have here right now is the EF22, which comes in a 360 degree swivel and tilt stand. So you can basically project anywhere you want with ease. It also comes in a base model that just the projector called the EF21. That doesn't come with the stand, but it does have very cool, trendy pastel colors like ice green and beige rose. Now, besides this stand function, the specifications of these two projectors are the same. This is a 1080p 3 LCD laser projector with a rated brightness of 1000 lumens and over 5 million to 1 contrast ratio with HDR10 support for the projection. And at the rear, you'll notice that it has sort of like speaker grills. This has two 5 watt speakers that are positioned at about 60 degrees for better stereo separation. It supports Dolby Audio and it actually gets really, really loud. It can fill a room. The exterior is super simple. You've got one HDMI port, one USB-A port if you want to plug in a USB drive, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. That's really about it on the exterior. You have no other buttons except the power button. Oh, you, you do have a power port, so you do have to plug in power. The Epic Vision Mini does not run on batteries, and that's probably the only thing you have to worry about if you're moving it around. The Epic Vision Mini is a wireless smart home projector. This runs Google TV natively. So setup is super simple. You turn it on, connect to your Wi-Fi, connect to your Google account, and you basically have access to the whole Google TV experience, the Google Play Store, the apps, your Netflix, your, your YouTubes, Disney Plus, all of it. So let me ask you this question. What's the difference between a smart TV running Google TV and a smart projector running Google TV? It's no real difference really, it's Google TV. You basically have the exact same TV experience. And this goes back to what I was saying before that smart projectors can replace a TV at home these days because I can project anywhere I want. I can go around, project my wall, project my wall, project on the floor, on the ceiling. <sighs> Try doing that with your 75 inch TV. As a smart projector, one of the main features I'm most impressed with the Epic Vision Mini, it's its auto keystone correction speed. Not just auto keystone, but auto focus and auto resize as well. I've never really seen any projector that does it this fast. This basically is like on the fly. As you move the projector, you can see the image moving along with you and it's trying to adjust for the best picture. Speaking of best picture quality, did you all notice how bright that image was? And this is coming from a projector that's supposedly only a thousand lumens. Well, Epson likes to use this term called true lumens for their projectors. This is not a technology by itself, merely an accurate representation of how projector brightness is mentioned. In this case, that's a thousand lumens of white light brightness and a thousand lumens of color light brightness. Both are tested against international standards, ISO and IDMS for projector brightness. And because of this, even the 1000 lumens Epic Vision Mini can throw a watchable screen in this studio that we're shooting in with most of the lights turned on. Let's talk more about true lumens. Now, there are three key takeaways from this video. Number one, brightness should not be misleading. We all know brightness is a key factor when buying projectors, except that brightness is often misrepresented. Now, I have two projections here on my left and right. One is from a 1000 lumens projector and one is from a projector that's rated at 12,000 lumens. Can you tell which is which? Is it the left, the right, the left, right, left, right? <laughs> now, you would probably have chosen the left because it's brighter. The whites are whiter, it's sharper, it's just clearer and more vibrant. But what if I told you that this is actually from the 1000 lumens projector? This 
is the Epson Epic Vision Mini. Whereas this is from a competing product that is rated at 12,000 lumens. But how can that be? How can a 12,000 lumens projector, which is supposedly 12 times brighter, look duller? That's because most brands misrepresent lumens rating or misrepresent brightness. There are so many different ways of testing brightness. Is it on the screen? Is it just on a specific dot? Is it on a lamp and lumens and lux? They are all different meanings and nobody really tells you what is what. In fact, most brands kind of leave us in the dark. But with True Lumens, what Epson is trying to do is they tell you exactly what goes into each projector, not just for white light, but color light. And they test this according to industry standards, ISO and IDMS. So you know what you're getting when you're buying an Epson projector. Number two, brightness should be uniform. Now, I've already said that Epson represents both white light brightness and color light brightness for all their projectors based on ISO and IDMS standards. But many brands don't really do that. Most competitors will only present one brightness rating, which is white light brightness, and even then is grossly exaggerated, while color brightness is often underreported and sometimes one third the actual brightness of white light. Now, for this test, I've set both projectors to their vivid settings. And as you can see, the one on my left, which is the Epic Vision Mini, is so much punchier and more vivid. Reds are redder, blues are blues, even whites are whites. And there's great color separation or highlight separation in this part where you can see white and yellow and blue and, and you can see what's going on. Whereas on my right, which is the 12,000 lumens projector, it's pretty dull. Colors are washed out. Reds, the whole painting looks bluish and yet the whites have a yellowish tone and you can't really see anything that's going on here because it's just all a mesh of yellow that is splashed on. Yeah. Number three, know what you buy. Now, if I told you at the beginning of this video that Epic Vision Mini costs 1,200 Singapore dollars for the base version and 1,400 dollars for the stand version, you might have stopped watching this video because budget projectors like this that claim up to 12,000 lumens often cost below 600 dollars. And if you bought one of these, let's be honest, you're gonna be disappointed with the results because if this is what 12,000 lumens gets you, you keep thinking that you want more and more or higher brightness to get better performance. I call this the great lumens inflation. And it's really not just brightness. If you look at the pictures behind me, the one from the Epic Vision Mini is so much better, sharper, more vibrant. It's sharp across the edges. There's no bleeding of colors. There's no vignetting. There's no rounding of corners. Whereas the one on brand X here has all of these things. So it's not just about poor brightness. There is indication that it also has low quality lens and projection system. So when brands actually develop and test their projectors based on known industry standards and report those actual numbers, this is what a true 1000 lumens projector can get you. So the next time you're out buying a projector, make sure both the white light and color light ratings are disclosed. And better yet, both white and color light should be identical or as close as possible to each other so that your viewing experience is not impacted. And they should be tested against ISO and IDMS standards as well. Epson calls this true lumens and I sort of called it good consumer advice. In fact, Epson has taken it upon themselves to partner with a third-party testing lab to test not just their projectors, but a whole range of competing products as well. If you go to this website called colorlightoutput.com, you probably find your projector model there that's tested for white and color light brightness. Well, that's it from me. If you have more questions about the Epson Epic Vision Mini series of projectors, you can go down into the comments and write your questions there or head down to howwhereszone.com where we have more in-depth articles about how to buy a projector and projection technologies. In the meantime, have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out.